it going, guys? Getting back to you with another upload of Farming Simulator gameplay. And unfortunately, um, since my last upload, we have gotten more rain. Um, it is actually currently raining as we speak. So it uh, looks like all the farm work that we got left to do in the field um, is going to come to a great big screeching halt again. And we're going to have to wait for the dirt to dry out here. Um, a lot of the stuff that um, we still have to plant is heavier dirt. Um, it's clay based ground. And then we also have some other fields where there's some pretty serious low holes um, that we're not going to be able to plant through until they dry off. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play some farming simulator here once again. And uh, we're going to be playing on the simple Midwest map. Um, my last video where I uploaded some FS22 content towards the end um, is where this map um, is, or that was the th that was the map that I was playing on then was this one right here. <coughs> so um, the last time um, I was on this map, I was in the middle of getting stuff planted. So we're gonna be doing that here again. So. Um, I'm going to get stuff going here, and then we'll go ahead and um, get into this video just a little bit more. Okay, guys, we got things rolling here. Um, I got two 8RX uh, tractors on tracks going here. Uh, both uh, tractors are 410s, and then the planters that I'm using here are the DB120s. Right now, we're getting soybeans planted. I got one uh, tractor and planter over there on that side going to be working this way and then this tractor and planter is going to be working that way so while I have these uh, tractors going in the field here i um, gonna go ahead and just kind of do a quick walk around here the farm so right here in front of me I got two barns or two shops here that I got for storing equipment um, this barn over here is where all of my uh, spring equipment goes so Planting tractors, the planters, the seed carts, all that good stuff go in there. And then this barn over here, I put all of the harvest equipment in. So the combines, the green heads, the corn heads, green carts, semis, they all go in there. And um, I actually just went ahead and I just recently purchased some new uh, machines here for this upcoming harvest. Um, Mainly going to be planting beans this season as the last season that I just wrapped up here, um, everything was corn. So um, we're going to be putting some beans in the ground and then after we get some of those beans off, we're going to have some uh, wheat going in the ground as well. So um, looking around here at all these machines, they are X9-1100 combines and each combine is equipped with a John Deere HD 62 foot uh, grain head. Um, these particular grain heads, I believe, are on the Mod Hub Center of the game. So if this is something that interests you, just gotta go to the header portion of the Mod Hub and you'll be able to get these grain heads for your combines. Um, I believe that's where they're at. I think that's where I downloaded them from, don't quote me. And then the X9 1100 was the combine that um, was already here on the game. So the X9-1100 is not a mod, just the grain head. One thing about this grain head, obviously because it is so long, you need to make sure that you have 
the um, longer auger on these machines. So unfortunately, I found that you cannot use the uh, auger that has the spout on it that folds back and forth like what's on the uh, case combines. Um, it does not reach. You got to do a lot of driving around and um, steering and all that good stuff to hit the truck when you're unloading. Um, so make sure you have the auger that just folds around and just has the regular boot on the end of it. Um, it will reach the truck a lot better than the other auger because this particular auger is actually longer. So it will reach with the uh, bigger heads. And then right here behind me, I got my grain set up here. Um, this was also a mod that um, is on, I think this one's on the mod center too, on the game. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. A lot of the mods that I have, I've had for so long that I just can't remember which ones I got off the website on the internet, and which ones I got off of the mod hub center here on the game. Um, so you can see right here we got two pits. Um, you got one where you can load the trucks and then either pit you can unload trucks on. But there's only one pit that you can load trucks with right there where that downspout's at. So right now we have just a little over 900,000 liters of corn in these bins right now. And then I also have some wheat in here as well. And... Um, I had to put some seeds in here because I needed to get it. Um, I need to get one of my trailers empty. So just haven't gotten those out of there yet. So you can store quite a bit with this particular system. Um, got quite a bit of storage. So it's uh, definitely a bigger setup. So you can hold quite a few, quite a few bushels. I don't say liters. I say bushels. So, and then over here, I got my anhydrous tank over here for putting on ammonia. And then over here, I have a lime and seed filling station over here on the other side of the shops here on the map. And I do have the Superman mod activated so I can run, I can jump, I can fly, all that good stuff. And then this shop right here, this is where all the maintenance happens, so if I want to make you know, upgrades, or if I want to change equipment, want to customize stuff, want to repaint, want to repair equipment, just got to pull it in there, and that's where you can do all the maintenance. And then over here is where I got my cattle set up. Uh, I got a hay and straw bale storage shed over here across the road, and then I got me a silo for uh, making silage, and then over here is my 300 head cattle barn with the robotic feeder so each bunker we got hay we got straw and then we have silage and then right over here where i had the semi parked i had to put some mineral feed in here this is where you dump the mineral feed and then right over here is where you can um, load up with slurry um, so you can get rid of manure, you can haul manure away. And then in here is the actual barn where I got my 300 kit of steers, cows, whichever they are. Um, so this is the main part of the barn. As you can see, we got some cattle here inside right now. And then as we go down here to the other end of the barn, it goes out here to a concrete paddock. Over here to a couple fences that open and close. And then over here is a grass pasture for the cattle to graze. And then right here is where you can offload and load cattle. And I think that's where you can buy them as well. I don't remember right off the top of my head if you can. But I'm assuming that's where you would uh, buy and sell your cattle. <coughs> Oops, getting a little crazy here. So there are some gates in here that do open and close. And then right here is where the robotic uh, 
feeder puts all the feed for the cattle to eat. And then this is also set up to where if you want to make this a dairy barn and you want to milk cows, right there's the robotic milker. A couple doors that open and close. So, pretty cool barn, pretty cool setup here. Got that all set up to keep cattle in. And these bunkers hold quite a bit of hay and straw, so you can go quite a long time without um, having to fill them. I um, actually have these trailers right here are actually um, trailers that will hold 250,000 liters. And I've had that trailer completely full with silage. And I've come over here and dumped the whole thing and haven't filled it yet. So you can definitely put quite a bit of hay and straw and silage in here. And I was baling my own hay and I was baling my own straw. But I just found it just as easy just to go and get it with a truck and trailer. And then just offload it and then I can just grab it and put it in there as I please for the cattle. So I'm going to jump into Superman mode here real quick. Down here the other end of the map is where I make all my purchases for equipment. All that good stuff. I can get equipment, seed, fertilizer, hay and straw bales, all that good stuff over here. Basically anything that I want. And then the main grain elevator that I sell most of my crops to is right over here. This is where I take 99% of all my crops that I harvest. And then I also got some windmills up here. So generate a little extra money and then um, and then this is basically just kind of just a quick overview of the map. As you can see it is a relatively big map. Got some pretty big uh, fields in here. Especially this one right here. And then some of the fields I have over here, I uh, connected. Like this field right here used to be two fields. It is now one. And then these two fields over here. I'm thinking about making it all one after bean harvest since I have this planted already. So I'll probably work up this little strip right here and make this all one. This used to be, I think this was three fields. Might have been two. I think it was two. So yeah, this is pretty much the layout of the map. It's a pretty basic map, really. Nice big open fields. Got a couple fields that yeah, aren't exactly square, but that's no big deal. But I've always been a fan of bigger fields versus the smaller fields. This field and this field right here are the smallest fields on the map. So if I ever want to mess around with older machinery, stuff like that, I can use it here either in this field. But nine times out of ten, I just use it over here in this field right here. So, so that's pretty much the layout of the... Um, map right now we'll go ahead and go back over here and see how the how the planting crews doing over here looks like we've made some looks like we're still making some pretty good progress here looks like this this one over here has maybe yeah maybe one more pass here I'm not too sure maybe a pass and a half uh, I should, they should be able to get that all in one pass. So, yeah, this field's about done. So, once we get this field done over here, we're going to probably jump ahead and go over here to these fields over here. Get these fields planted. Then once we get these two fields planted right here, probably jump over here. Get this one planted. Get this one and this one planted, and then once we're done with that, we'll be able to jump across the creek over here, over here to these bigger fields. So, I'm telling you what, I know it's not the most realistic thing in the world, but having this Superman mod is a a very, very handy tool, so to speak. Oh, I, forgot, I guess we got this little patch right here to do, too. 
no big deal. My guess is that this tractor will probably finish up before that tractor because it has shorter passes. So this one will probably go over here and finish this little spot right here. And then um, I'll probably plant the headlands myself over here. So still every once in a blue moon still have like a little hiccup with these helpers. For some reason, every once in a blue moon when they get done, they tend to back up all the way down to the other end of the field. And I have no idea why they do that, but they do. So, well, we'll go ahead and we'll get this field planted here. Get this one all wrapped up. And then once we make the jump across the street there, we'll go ahead and hop aboard one of these tractors here and continue planting. All right, guys, so the other tractor's got one little pass to go. Looks like it's making its way up here to the road. I uh, started planting across the street here. Uh, once I get over here to the other end, I'll probably just have this tractor continue to go back and forth. And I'll probably hop in the other one and continue on the other side. And you can see what I mean by the helpers wanting to back down the field again as you can see the one is starting to slowly back down so I don't know if anybody else has that same issue but uh, they seem to do that every once in a while if I'm not paying attention luckily I was so yeah last year's uh, harvest was a uh, complete corn crop I did not have uh, half and half uh, Everything was uh, corn and was able to uh, pretty de put a pretty decent use to um, all the combines that I have. Um, you get a 24 row corn head on all the machines and it, they just mow right through that corn. The same way with beans and wheat also. You get four combines going with 62 foot heads. and I actually have those combines modified to hold over 100,000 liters. But you really got to be careful because once it starts to get super full, it actually slows the machine down from all the weight, which I'm not surprised by at all. But um, this way, it is able to hold a lot more bushels. And you got to stop as many times to unload and just makes just makes harvest go by so much faster but um, yeah overall um, really do enjoy playing on this map being in the bigger fields being able to use the bigger equipment and just uh, yeah just have really enjoyed this map and honestly don't remember the last time I played on my other maps that I have. So, um, I do got to say this is definitely a favorite of mine. There was one I'm pretty sure I downloaded here not too long ago that I don't think I've tried yet. So, probably be making a video about that one here soon. But again, I don't remember which one it was. So, I'll have to go back through and see which one I downloaded. I know I downloaded a map, but I don't remember which one it was. So, it'll be an upload for that video coming up here as well. And um, I have all my recording equipment set up and ready to go. I just charged the GoPro here a while ago. And um, hopefully we'll be able to get that here. Be able to take that to work here one of these days and start getting some lawn and landscape videos up here as well
And I do have the out of steer mod on here too, so if I ever want to relieve the helpers from doing their thing, I can run the out of steer and run one of these myself. But um, it is pretty nice having a cattle operation. I can go back and I can check on stuff while they're doing their thing. And another thing I got to really watch with these helpers is when you get into fields like the one that we're in right now. Um, you really got to pay attention and make sure that uh, they actually plant everything. Because I know sometimes when you get into fields that aren't exactly square like this, they tend to uh, set the planter down early and miss spots or they don't back up all the way. So you just really got to watch. Really got to watch it make sure they're doing a good job and getting everything done, everything planted. You kind of like this one. He should have should have backed down a little bit farther. Should have backed all the way down here. Probably should have planted another headland. But... What you gonna do? So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Just wanted to get some, wanted to get a video out here to you guys. Like I said, I'm really trying to kind of stick to my, stick to my promises and stick to my goals to upload in here a little bit more frequently and um, try to make this channel a lot more active than what it used to be. <clears throat> um, so, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I want to thank you guys again for watching. Um, don't forget to leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a quick second, hit that notification bell so that you guys can stay up to date with what's going on here on the channel. And hopefully the next upload that is going to be going up here will be a lawn and landscape video. So be, uh, be on the lookout for that. And be continuing with the gaming aspect. And then obviously we'll also be continuing with the videos that uh, started this channel if it ever quits raining so um, so yeah I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up and uh, hope to get another upload out to you guys here very soon